welcome back to The Helpful Home. I'm Sunday Dawn, and today I am starting to fill my box for Michelle at my Everyday Wife Life's One Box Challenge. And I need to make room for these albums, which are uh, mostly vacations that need to go into my bookcase. And I also need to make room for a couple more yearly albums. Over here to the left are my yearly albums. So two of these bins are going to have to go, and that is just a cameo by my lovely doodle. Louie, mama doesn't have time to play ball. So I'm going to get to work. I'm sure Louie will be helping me and bringing me the ball repeatedly, but we will work through that and try to empty two bins. Okay, Louie, are you ready to do the hall closet? Are you ready to do the coat closet? You're going to have to move from your favorite spot waiting for daddy. Well, we're going to have to kick Louie out of his spot because this is where I'm probably getting the bulk of my one box from. You're going to have to trust me. It is not as bad as it looks when I open it. Okay, let's just do it. No trying to make it better than it is. Let's do a real shot. Ah! It's down there. Ah! All the blankets get thrown in. Everything. That avocado oil going to my daughter. The makeup bag going to my daughter the piece of art there going to Goodwill. Most of that stuff goes to my daughter or my best friend or as a gift. I don't know why there are two bottles of cleaner in there. I don't know why. Lou, are you judging me? Are you judging me? Shall I clean up my cabinet? And this needs cleaned up a bit. So the whole thing is a little disheveled -y. I don't think it's as bad as it looks. I think I'm actually going to time myself. And I, I don't even know if I'll have a whole box, but combined with that other area I started with, I think we can make it work. Look at this guy. He can't even let me get started. This is his favorite spot. It is where he waits for daddy to come home all day. Oh, I forgot I got command strips that are probably in that coat closet that I need to hang back up. My sign for the top of my Disney gallery wall. Look at all the things I'm going to get done today, as long as I can move my giant doodle. Well, Louie has found his backup toys that we keep put away. Yes, you found them. I'll give you one. My honey buys them in bulk online. And then, oh, oh, you're so smart. <laughs> yes, I will give you one. Anywho, this is the chaos that has ensued. I did get Louie to move, but he's pretty unhappy. That whole pile by the door goes to my daughter. My cleaning bag needs a quick tidy. This is just blankets, as are these that need refolded. Why does the blanket section get so messy? And um, that basket right there, I do want to go back up in that space next to the games. It is gloves, mittens, scarves, um, long underwear for under snow clothes, some snow clothes, and then that whole pile is all going. I need to go through it and decide what is trash and what is donate. Oh, yeah, you just took one. Okay, well, who can blame the boy? I'm going to cut that out of the package before he hurts himself and sort through that pile. Okay, I just want us to acknowledge who the coat hoarder is in the family because this is me. Me. This is hubby. I think we both know who the coat hoarder is in the family, but I just wanted to share it. And also I'll even give it up for him. This is his Levi jacket from when he was 16 and it still fits and it's an actual Levi brand jacket. So he saved it all these years and he kept telling me it was going to come back in style and it did. So, um, yeah, he kept it and it took up space and I wanted to donate it and he was right. And now we have video evidence of me admitting it. Also, I want to show that I've got rugs, backup rugs. I love my kitchen rugs. I also have one in my entry. They are my very favorite. So I bought two backups because having a dog at the back door can be kind of rough on your rugs. And I just picked up a couple extras and they go beneath all of my folded blankets. If I can get Lou off of them, I will fold them and put them here right on top of those backup rugs for when I need them later. So here we have the final product of the closet. I was able to get my winter scarves and gloves basket back in the top there. 
I sorted through our coats. We're going to donate just a couple and relocate my husband's suit jacket into the closet. I did get rid of a couple of blankets, which are hard for my family because blankets often have sentimental value. So I kept the really important quilts. And that is our beach blanket that we take when we run to the beach with the dog for the day, which is often. And then I've got my purse again, able to hang on the door. And I'm gonna hang another hook here for another bag that I store there. And then this should be finished. Boy, does that look better. Okay, now fair's fair. Here is the aftermath. And although it is somewhat in an order, now it's time to tackle it and get it out to Goodwill, Trash, and to the people who the returns need to go to. What do you think, Lou? How did Mama do? Did I take your blankie? I'm so sorry, Bubba. Well, here is where we are with it at the end. This pile is the trash pile. That pile is my one box challenge pile. I need to go grab a box, but we've got quite a bit of um, good donation in there. Actually, when I put it in the box, I'll show it to you and maybe, maybe explain what it all is. These hangers in my husband's suit jacket need to go in the closet. Pile for my bestie. Pile for my daughter. New rug I found hiding in the closet to go outside my garage door. And then that is an Ikea bag full of returns for friends that I will do while I'm out. And that is just a big lunch bag I like to bring with me in the car often. And a book I found that I forgot I wanted to read that I'm kind of excited about. So I also need to hang those. I did not find the command strips I was hoping for. Sometimes things get lost when you do not tidy up and know where your things are. So I deserve that. I did throw Louie's couple of toys up there in the top. My hubby buys him kind of a big, big bulk pile of them and then we pull them out one by one because he's our most toy motivated dog ever, even though he doesn't look like it right now. He is active and toy motivated in general. So yeah, I'm talking about you. Here is my finished closet. And then here is what I did over here. I did empty two of the baskets. I was able to get in my additional albums. I made new labels with a stamp kit that I thought were pretty fun. And I got to make room for a photo display of my granddaughter. So this is kind of our family photo display area. My bookcase with my Project Life albums. And then our family photos. So I made room for more photos, love that. And I will show you my finished product one box when I get this all cleaned up. Well, my one box challenge turned into one box, a bag and a coat, which I'm very happy with. You saw the two spaces it came from, the two wicker baskets in my um, bookcases and just a plethora of mayhem out of my coat closet, which is looking lovely at this point. I'm very happy with it. And I guess my only tips and tricks are be ruthless. And here are two brand new things I'm donating because somebody else would rather use them than them take up space and make clutter in my home. I bought two of those rugs. I opened one and it was in terrible it was just cheaper than I thought. None of us liked it, but I never got the other one returned to Amazon. I bought this as a Christmas gift, super clearance, super cheap, and we never made it to that Christmas event. Hashtag 2020. And then the rest of this is just superfluous stuff. An old purse, old blankets, some brand new ribbon that I'm never going to use, old Tupperware, old candle containers, boots that never fit me right, even though they're lovely, and one of the games I got rid of because we just don't play it anymore. And a coat that I love but has seen better days, so I'm going to let it go. It's missing a couple of buttons. I just never get around to fixing it. And I've got a new coat my husband bought me last year for my birthday. So, a box, a bag, and a coat. That is my contribution to the One Box Challenge. Thank you so much, Michelle, for issuing it. You have helped me work my way through my home this month. And I look forward to more challenges. See you later, girls.